from the egg um today is gonna be a different video um i haven't been feeling the greatest last past week i've been literally full-on depressed i haven't left my flat or my, my home because it's not my flat unfortunately i haven't left home for like three days i haven't showered for three days which is disgusting but i was literally just feeling so down and depressed and it sucks so today is saturday i'm gonna try to do something about it it's already like 12 12 o'clock so i think i don't know i just had a breakfast i'm finishing my coffee i'm gonna shower finally I'll be disgusting and I think I will go for a walk I will go to to, to to Hampstead Heath it's quite a long walk it's a nice park it's warm Alexa what's the weather currently in London it's 15 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies it's 15 it's degrees you can Alexa stop <laughs> so it's 15 degrees and i think it would be nice for walk i might gonna take my picnic picnic blanket and book and do some reading and try to just clear clear my head because it's been lots of happening and it was with work and with my health and other bits so i'm just gonna try to do something about it I'm gonna take you along with me because maybe someone experiencing exactly the same. Right, shower is done. <laughs> Feels actually really good. Obviously, it does feel good, but you know when you feel depressed and stuff, taking a shower and getting out of bed, etc., seems like impossible for you. So, yeah, once you do it, it's really refreshing. It's really nice. So I really enjoy that. And then I will do my skincare. So obviously, I was in Korea. And I pick up a few bits and bobs which are trending, etc. But with my skin, I have very sensitive skin. I get easily irritated. I think my skin barrier is broken, basically. So I'm trying to renew it, you know, using as as less products as possible. And I pick these three, which I'm really enjoying. So the first one is this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's with a snail... I don't know gel etc so using it she just two pumps all over my face as a first product really enjoying it it's viral for reasons so that's a good one once that is like soaked in my skin i go in with moisturizer i'm using this one so this one is the extra auto barrier 365 cream and this one is literally made for strengthening the skin barrier i really enjoy it. it's very lightweight it has no sense at all which i really enjoy so that's a that's a good one and the last one i use is this eye cream by beauty of josan really enjoying this one i have the sunscreen as well really like it and in general i think this one's going to be my go-to skin brand once i finished the bits and i got in south korea and this one is Rev revive eye serum with ginseng and retinol so yeah, really enjoying this one. I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna dress, I'm gonna sort my hair, and then we finally gonna head out. All right, it's two hours later, and I'm still not out. And that's what happened when you feel anxious, when you feel depressed, but it is what it is. I need to put sunscreen on. So since I came back from Korea, I'm really staying on it. So sunscreen every single day, no matter if it's rainy or not. Uh, I mentioned my previous, um, that I like the one from Beauty of Joseon. However, when I tried it, there was only a sample. Obviously, I bought it as well, but I haven't opened it yet because the first day I basically the first full day I've been in Korea, I went to Olive Young and I got this sunscreen, which was again the viral one. I can't pronounce it because I can't read Hangul still, so it's this one. So I'm just gonna put it on and then we're gonna finally go out.
It's the next day. I just woke up. I'm feeling me. <laughs> I've got a bloody pimple here, which I haven't had for a while, so that's nice. Um, as you saw yesterday, I went to Hampstead Heath. That definitely helped. And you know, just being in the sun and seeing other people from a distance. Actually, it was quite nice. I got myself a little snacky bit. So I got myself my favorite kombucha. I had raspberries, bought pita chips and a guacamole dip. So that was nice. I read a book. I read a show too. Because the Lolita one, it was a bit overwhelming. Like the way as it's written, like I read it in Czech. But in English, it's like totally different and I got a bit overwhelmed. So luckily I have my Kindle app on a phone. So I read my usual uh, crime uh, drama. So that was, that was nice. Then I listened to music and just been thinking and everything. And it definitely helped to clear my head. But then when I got home, I I got back in my room my room is messy as you can see I have like lots of packages like cardboard boxes and stuff which I need to sort and again put me like in that little slump so what I did I watch a few YouTube videos from Korea because that makes me happy to watch content like that uh, I made myself dinner I made myself um, noodle soup chicken noodle soup which is nice it's my favorite and then I went to bed and maybe half an hour before bed I had again all these like moods and feelings I was a bit like I don't want to do anything tomorrow I don't want to you know sometimes I have these feelings and I'm like I don't want to really woke up I was just like can't be bothered with life and everything so that's kind of what I had last night I was thinking should I film it should I not and I was like no I feel too too vulnerable I can't pronounce that one but today is actually a gorgeous day it's very nice and sunny I'm gonna make myself a coffee have my chia pudding for breakfast and then because it's Sunday Sunday is kind of like reset day for me so I need to go to Aldi and I think I no I, I don't think <laughs> I will walk I'm gonna actually walk it's like mile mile and a half something like that so I'm gonna walk that it's uphill as well so it's gonna be good exercise for me and I need, I need to walk in I do need to walk because I haven't walked for three days before so let's get my steps <laughs> and gonna do my food shop gonna come back home gonna clean my room because it's disgusting like it's not like messy messy but it's like nothing is organized you know these boxes are here since i came from korea which is basically like three weeks i just have like mugs everywhere because i started drinking tea again before bed you know and stuff so i just need to organize i need to hoover i need to do my laundry and then i will be editing this vlog so that's kind of the plan for Sunday. I will be blasting in headphones, my favorite music. And hopefully my day is going to be easier. Tomorrow, luckily, I'll say luckily, but tomorrow I'm in the office and Tuesday I'm in the office. So these two days I'm usually fine because I need to wake up early. I need to get myself to the office. I walk a lot, then I'm in the office. 
I'm distracted by people, so I don't really have this, you know, I don't have that time to kind of think about, like, oh, I'm being depressed, da, 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 da. I'm all thinking about my issues, about my problems and stuff. So that would be two good days. And then Wednesday, Thursday, obviously Friday, it's my working from home days. I think I'm going to go back to gym because I'm paying it and I'm not going in. So going to aim to get my ass to gym because I realized when I was gymming, I haven't had these like these deep, deep depression days. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to kind of put my life in order again. And we'll see, we'll see. I Even yesterday I was thinking, I was like, should I go to GP? Should I maybe ask for antidepressants? You know, will that help? But I still don't want to go that, that road because I think it's not as that bad. But then, I don't know, because I felt like this in winter and I blamed everything on winter. I was like, it's grey, it's dark, you know, it wasn't rainy, it's just disgusting weather, you can't do anything. Fortunately, I don't have my own place. So I was like, you know, it's like sharing with people that you not particularly like and uh, that you have no bond with so I was like well, maybe that's it but now it's summer and I feel kind of the same way so I don't know and there's also lots happening in my head with I don't enjoy living in London anymore should I move out I don't know, or is it that in general I don't enjoy this country anymore? Like, I've been... I've been basically... 10 years, if I don't count the year in America and then the almost 6 months there as well. So it's going to be almost 10 years living in UK and... I don't know, I don't know. So, and now because I have a settled status, I can eventually move up to five years somewhere else. And then if so, I can come back and I still have my rights to work here and everything, you know. So, it's tough. It's tough. I don't know really what to do. And, yeah. So that's what's happening in my little head. But, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So as you've seen, I have tidy up my room. It's all nice and clean. Still need to do my laundry, but. I will do it in a bit. Um, my flatmate is cooking at the moment, so I need to wait and I will do my meal prep. But meanwhile, I'm gonna start editing this vlog. This is not the happiest, uh, but because I've been literally uploading video every single week since New Year, I was like, I don't wanna just stop because I feel meh, I feel depressed, so. Yeah, and this is also like part of my life, so why not to share it? Maybe someone's going through the same thing, so, you know, it might gonna show people or to someone that you are not the only one who's struggling. And yeah, feeling a bit better today. So we decided my food shop, I tidy up my room, I went for a walk. So all kind of things I set myself as a goal are done. I will now do my meal prep, edit a vlog, which is on the list as well. And then I think I will do another walk before showering and going to bed to hit my 10,000 steps and also just to clear my head before going to the office tomorrow. So yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. As per usual, if you're new here, subscribe and hopefully next week I either gonna continue with more happy uh, vlogs or finally I will do the one how much I spent on my South Korea trip.
but we'll see bye